Hello, Barry Reeves, the real estate geek, here at our newest listing at 301 Hillendale in beautiful South Charlotte, where the only thing you hear here are the birds singing on this beautiful Carolina blue sky chamber of commerce kind of day. My gosh, I can't wait to show you your new house and to show you beautiful outdoor spaces where you can enjoy the birds singing and sipping your coffee in the morning. So let me tell you a little bit about this house in the neighborhood as we go, go along our journey. Uh, it is zoned for Elizabeth Lane Elementary, woohoo, South Charlotte, woohoo, and Providence High, woohoo. Uh, so uh, we are five minutes to the Arboretum, five minutes to, to Matthews Town Center, seven minutes to South Park, 20 minutes to Uptown Charlotte. So the convenience of everything, you're, you're just a few minutes away from McAlpine Park Greenway, a few minutes away from Sardis Park Road, or Sardis, excuse me, Road Park. <laughs> Uh, this is an all brick house, 3,100 square feet and change. Yeah, all brick, four bedrooms, three baths, three quarters of an acre lot, and get this, full basement. Yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> Wait till I show you what the, all the space down there. We have a full basement. This is Charlotte. There are no basements in Charlotte, but you have a basement in this house. How wonderful and awesome is that? So let's go in and take a look. Oh, beautiful space. We have 2,000, a little over 2,000 square feet on the main level. So main level living plus your full basement downstairs and wait till I show you that. Okay, so we have a 16 by 13 and a half living room, giant windows, beautiful windows, crown molding, just gorgeous space. We'll walk through into your new dining room. Can easily hold a six person table and a buffet. Check out that antique buffet, how cool is that? Well, I think I'm in the shot, I'm in the mirror. <laughs> and then let's go into your giant 315 square foot kitchen. With, look at all, two bay windows. Yes, there are two bay windows. And look at the greenery. No, this is not <laughs> photoshopped or any of that kind of stuff or CGI or whatever, yes. That is the sunlight coming through your two bay windows, pouring into your house and look at all of that privacy. You do not, you do not even need shades on the back side of this house. There's so many beautiful mature trees on this three quarter acre lot. And then let's spin back here. Take a giant island in your new kitchen. Plenty of space. Talk about raw potential. It was like, when renovating houses, it's like, I can fix up any kitchen or whatever as long as I have the space to do it. This will allow you the space to do it. Let's check out your, your deck, 300 square foot deck. Again, nothing but birds singing. How cool will it be to have your morning coffee out here? Or have cocktails in the afternoon? Oh, at the end of a long day? Or have all your friends over and hanging out and telling stories and Oh my gosh, how wonderful will this be? Yeah, look at all the, and I'll show you from the inside here in your new den. But here is your beautiful mature lot. All of the beautiful mature trees that are just now starting to bud and flower out. Let's go back inside and continue our tour. So the giant island, which opens into your new den with a wood-burning fireplace. Yeah, you can see the wood-burning fireplace. I know if I were renovating this kitchen, this wall right in front of me would definitely go. I would bet you a Diet Coke that is not a load-bearing wall, but I'm certainly no general contractor. But uh, beautiful hardwood floors. Wood-burning fireplace, built-in shelves. And then check out all of the beautiful French doors and floor to ceiling windows. How beautiful and cool is this? Oh, imagine, you know, winter evenings with a fire going, watching a Panthers game or watch a family movie night. Oh my gosh, family movie night will be so cool in this space. Oh, well, let's go ahead and wander on down the hallway. And let's check out, we have three bedrooms and two full baths on this level. Here's your entryway where you'll meet all your guests and family coming in here, very spacious entryway. 
And this is a cool little neighborhood. It's a little horseshoe neighborhood. So you have no cut through traffic whatsoever. Okay, here's your guest bath. Big space. Shower tub. I guess I should have pulled back the shower curtain, but eh, you get an idea. You've seen a shower tub. <laughs> All right, here's bedroom number one. Wonderful space, 12 by 11 square feet, two big windows, floor to ceiling windows. How awesome is that? Beautiful bookcases. And again, look at all of the beautiful greenery outside your front, your front yard too, which is also fenced in for kiddos and puppies. <laughs> Very good at holding kiddos and puppies. All right, bedroom number two. This is 12 by 11 as well, built-in bookcases. Could be a home office if you need it to be. Great natural light, big space. Again, you're gonna notice that, you know, it's like houses aren't built this way anymore. This is a big space. This is a 3,100 square foot house and change. And that's not even counting the garage, the two car garage and all of the extra storage downstairs that I'm about to show you here in a couple minutes. And here's your master suite on the main. That is a king size bed. So that gives you a real sense for how big this room is. And I'll tell you exactly how big it is. 16.2 feet by 13.5 feet. Yes, this is a big space. Two windows, great natural light. Again, there's so many mature trees and everything outside your windows. You don't even need blinds. Unless you want to sleep in a little bit and the sun's going to get to you. But you don't need blinds for privacy because nobody can see in through all the trees. Beautiful master closet. And let's check out your master bath with the walk-in shower. Oh, I hope I didn't make you dizzy there. I think I made myself a little bit dizzy. <laughs> I just wanted to show you another angle of your master bedroom and now let's go downstairs and check out all of the awesome spaces downstairs okay i spared you of me walking down the stairs but we'll go down the last couple of steps here here into your new rec room great room bar hangout area <laughs> this is a 28 by 15 foot room it's, it's precisely 28.3 by 15.3 my goodness Cool, very cool tile ceiling, built-ins, cabinets, built-in bookshelves. Can be a home office area. I could see having a pool table down here. That would be my vote. <laughs> if the wife would let me. Wood-burning fireplace. So yes, two wood-burning fireplaces in this house. And again, you know, you got 1,100 square feet of furnished space down here and 717 square feet square feet of unfinished space. So let's go look into more of your finished space. Home office number two, or could be used as a bedroom because it has an ensuite full bath. Wait till I, I'll show you that here in a second. In huge closets, three huge closets back in through here, four actually. Big space here. This room is 14 by 10.8. So plenty big for any, I can't imagine a teenager not loving this room. I know my kids, my three teenagers, they would fight over this bedroom, being this to be their bedroom. Because not only do you have an ensuite, but you also have almost like the basement to yourself kind of thing. Walk-in shower. Beautiful finish, a cool vanity. And as we continue on in our finished space, let's walk over here to your new laundry room. Nothing fancy, but you do have a wash sink, tons of extra cabinetry. Oh my gosh, see, when you get outside and get muddy or whatever, you can come and wash out, wash up. And let's go see your new garage. Two, oversized two-car garage. Like I said, the garage area is 27 feet by 20 feet. So if you ever have seen new construction garages, and you know what those look like in sizes, that, oh my gosh, you'll be blown away. Now, if you notice, there was not much clutter up in that main part of the house. We have it here. But look at all of the space and the stuff you can fit in here. And look at our beautiful HVAC system as well. 
Oh, I forgot to show you your outdoor space on this level too. Let's wander back this way. So again, 717 feet unfinished space down here, plus 1,100 feet of finished space and your, and your patio. Your brick patio overlooking the rest of your land. This is a 395 square foot patio. Under the deck, walkway around to the front of the house. But look at all of your beautiful unfinished land. Yes, as far as you can see on this video is your land, three quarters of an acre. Look at all of the privacy. Oh my gosh. And all you can do is sit out here and listen to the birds sing. How cool is that? Well, once again, this is Barry Reeves, the real estate geek, here at our newest listing at 301 Hillendale Drive for a private showing. Call me at 704-763-8303. Uh, Barry Reeves, the real estate geek, 704-763-8303.